Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to today's uh, Luna Classic video update for Friday 26th of August and what a lovely green candles. The passion and the flame is ignited once again. It's just superb, okay? After so long, after very, very, very long time, I, I, I do think that the downtrend that we had here has pretty much been defeated and we already are uh, breaking out of the, of the downtrend, okay? So previously, yesterday, I did say that it was a little bit tricky here because um my charts were kind of like um you know we're putting in a bear flag a little bit here and we're also holding this line uh, right over there so yeah so the first initial scenario that i've been telling you for weeks and weeks and weeks this one right here for one month the one whole month that you, you have been successful to hold this level as support has actually been uh, true very very true right so it was actually a hold of support and we finally uh, push to the upside of course here now you are uh, instead uh, at, at a particular resistance on a weekly time frame and that is actually if you look at it that way uh, you're coming up to this level here so something like that right over there okay so you're trying to cross this place and uh, try to move up which is 13,315 right now uh, so let me bring in the volume and let's try to analyze how the volume looks like now, however, the problem really is that the volume is not kicking in, okay? The volume is not kicking in because just look how huge and monstrous green candle we have and just look at how tiny the volume really is. So that's a little bit shady, something is fishy. Just look at the volume in this candlestick. I, I mean, the volume in this small candlestick right here you can see it down there just right here is almost the same <laughs> the volume of this small candlestick uh, small candlestick is equal to this bigger candlestick i mean there's an injustice right now there's something uh shady when we talk about the volume but you know uh, anything goes anything can happen but this is not something that i'm uh, i didn't want to see because volume really matters whenever you make moves to the upside so there are good chances that you can still end up you know uh being rejected here again and rolling to the downside but I, however um weekly hasn't closed we have three days to close the weekly so that volume is not final okay uh volume can still kick in after three days as well so now let's dive in into the daily uh that's gonna be a little bit of suspense on a weekly volume so let's actually dive in into the daily time frame all right so uh, first things first i want to dive in into the uh one hour time frame right here and I do see very, very good progress right now uh, on the one hour time frame. This thrust and reaction right now, this is the thrust to the up, to the upside. You can say it's an impulsive move to the upside, correction to the downside, impulsive move, second uh, correction, third uh, impulsive move. And we might be looking for another correction, perhaps down on a one hour time frame to come to this. Uh, support line which is one two seven three four and this can actually en offer another entry opportunity with a stop loss down at one one eight five seven if something you, if you're looking to trade now i do think uh, you know the, by the end of the day this is luna classic it, it can easily take your tr uh, you know stop losses and that's going to be like seven percent uh stop loss down here because that's where the stop loss actually makes sense if you take out this stop loss i do reckon you can come down again to that uh, particular uh, levels which is going to be down at uh, 1,955 and then you have uh, another you know retest which is going to be 1,560 so let me actually just drop these blue lines of the li of the new support level that we have on, a, on the current one hour time frame right and uh, right now the biggest uh, uh, you know uh, retest that I do look forward to and maybe can offer an entry opportunity is really down here at nearly uh, 1,200, uh, no, 12,695. That's the place where I do see a small uh, uh, drop here and then bounce off and then continue if you were to continue to the upside. Now, that's the one hour time frame. Let's talk about the four hour time frame. So, uh, the four hour time frame looks pretty amazing. In the next eight minutes, you know, from the time I'm recording, you're about to close the candlestick and we're putting in a three white soldier. So, that's pretty positive right now. And if I do look at the volume on a four hour time frame, that's absolutely incredible volume so that's smart money stepping in you know this is real real pump on a four hour time frame even though it looks shady on a weekly but on a four hour time frame it looks like there is there are chances to 
come down and still continue to go uh, to the upside so i'm just gonna google this one for you very very quickly three white soldiers right there and uh, open up the images as well so let's do this and this is how the candlesticks look like so when you have three white uh, three green candles back to back they're known as three white soldiers and this is what can happen okay so uh, three white soldiers move sideways and then boom so this is exactly what I might expect right now uh, you've put in uh, three white soldiers at the moment just gonna remove that one drawing right out there boom so you are uh, supposed to actually close up uh, near 13,008 hundred or somewhere like that and then you can might come down a little bit consolidate and then you start to move sideways you know put in a, a pennant here or a bull flag or something like that break out of this and then you continue to move higher now however there is one last place that i want to talk about on the daily because it doesn't really end there and it's important to point out about the daily and by the way thank you for fifteen thousand subscribers can i get to sixteen thousand now please you know so from here now on the daily time frame uh, the daily does have a small resistance and I do want to point out this resistance out there okay so once you if because I do see that the highest you're looking to go is up to 16,052 and that is pretty awesome that is pretty positive because on a weekly time frame you're you're gonna be crossing this resistance and then uh when you when you do go up to sixteen thousand, you might come down here and uh, you know again try to move higher however the daily is something interesting because you do have resistance there you do have resistance here you have resistance there and there could be chances to come up here get rejected again maybe and then come down to uh, 13,000 again here and that could still be your support level because I'm gonna tell you all the levels that we're trying to break right now the resistance that we're looking to break uh, to break out of so at the moment this is another resistance that is being bro broken out of okay because nonetheless you do have resistance here um, resistance and support if you want to say you had a resistance right over there you did have support and resistance right over here and right now you're having another interaction right over there so that actually offers you a very big level down at 12,695 as I told you before and this can still be a good entry opportunity with a stop loss down here at 11,857 and that wasn't make sense to me so you do uh, come down like this and maybe shoot up again today to 16,000 okay I do I do see maybe that one big huge green candle we might be talking about 25% move to the upside from the, from here so that's pretty much it for this uh, quick update on Luna Classic it's a very extended one if you want me to do part two uh, do do make make, uh, make me know in the comments uh, later down the road we can talk about the second part if anything changes and uh, I, I hope the stop loss doesn't get taken away and we might be moving up to 16,000 at the moment. And that's going to be pretty positive to me. And I'm going to see you the next one on office.